Hey folks, welcome back to Cohalen's Adventures. This is Cohalen's Adventures episode number... What the hell? I didn't write it down again. Uh, 133. Yeah. Uh, and today's date is the 21st of October, 8-21-24. And we went from 4,513 adventurers last week to 4,559. About steady, same 40 people joining every, every week, so that's a good thing. Uh, we went from 66.9 thousand watch hours to 60... 7.7 thousand watch hours, about maybe 200 watch hours less uh, than the previous week, but we were bigger last week, so it washes out. I was notified yesterday that I had uploaded 6,500 videos so far, so that's another milestone. And last week, I on Sunday, we had the interview with Chelsea Williams that I hope you've watched. Uh, she's a singer-songwriter. Uh, I first saw her open for Poco. Uh, I've also seen her many times with Mark Cohen that I didn't mention in the interview. Things that slipped my mind. Um, and she's also part of the Salty Sweets that had a show the day before the video premiered, but after we did the interview. So anyway, there's more th stuff with Salty Sweets coming up in the next month. So if you are in the South Bay area or Orange County area, you can go and see them uh, in Laguna Beach area. Uh, so that would be very cool. Also, big week last week. Uh, on Thursday, I saw 10CC for the first time in the United States since 34 years ago, my first time ever seeing them. Uh, I'd seen Graham Gouldman before with um, Ringo Starr's All-Star Band. He was the bass player on that year's version, which was 2019. Uh, and he did Things We Do, uh, Things we Do For Love, which premiered today, by the way. Uh, at least on, on my channel, it showed the video from the show premiered this morning. Um, I also, on Friday night, Went to see Alice Cooper at Pacific Amphitheater, my first time seeing them again since their Pretties For You album, 1968 Newport Pop Festival, where they weren't even on the bill. They were one of the more bands coming listed bands, and they were wearing dresses back in those days. So, uh, so I got to see a lot of the hits that they hadn't made yet. It was very cool. Great uh, stage show. I have a lot of the videos up there. Check those out. Saturday, Baked Potato, Alfonso Johnson band with um, Simon Phillips on drums, uh, Christian Hebel on violin, Alex Sill on guitar, uh, a new keyboard player that I hadn't um, known of before. His name is Javier Santiago, and a percussionist I hadn't seen before, uh, Taku Hirano. Uh, they're all excellent. Check out those videos. A lot of good stuff. Um, and did I mention I'm calling this this week's episode Hello Good? No doubt you missed that. Maybe I missed it. Anyway, it's called that because this coming week I'm going to be spending a lot of time learning and developing my skills as a video editor on Filmora which is the only software editing software that I have on my computer that still works with my version of Mac OS. Uh, I had, uh, let me see, I had DaVinci Resolve, I had VN, I had iMovie, and I had OBS. And all of them now require a higher operating system than my Mac can go to. So until I can get a new mini Mac computer with a newer operating system which will be maybe November, December at best. Um, I had to look around to find something that worked and this works really well so I may not need to immediately jump to a newer uh, computer or drive. It's slow but it gets the job done. I've been restricted in the past of being able to do uh, 
videos of making shorts out of videos on anything that isn't com uh, on the things that are copyright claimed on YouTube. I could not make shorts out of because it wouldn't let you do that because there was a copyright claim. Even though once you make the short, it is not any longer copyright claimed for that 15 to 60 second video that you make out of it. So now I can make those. I've done one so far, the 10cc short of um, Mandy, I'm Mandy Fly Me. That was done on the Filmora and I'm, I'm learning all kinds of new tricks. I'm hoping that at some point I'll be able to go, oh, and you can see 10cc here and you can see Alice Cooper here and you can see over here the video, the short or the video from um, <laughs> Alfonso Johnson. And then down below here, you can see who I saw last night, which was um, Jody Siegel's showcase with Jody Siegel, Pi Jacobs, and Mason South, which is Doug Hamblin, uh, Phil, Par Phil Para Piano, Parla Piano, um, and Lynn Coulter, Lynn Coulter. I didn't even have to look that. Yay, I remembered all of them. Uh, so those tricks will be showing up hopefully in future videos. Um, I have to work out whether I have to wear earphones while I'm doing that video and then posting the videos so they'll play and you'll hear them as I play them in the video or however that works out. Uh, I'm still learning on that. But the potential of the future things that I can do, I can have picture in picture, so I can have the full video that I'm talking about up there. I can introduce bands you haven't seen before, or uh, bands you should have seen at some point, bands that I saw, but I didn't have the technology at the time to record them because this is back in the 70s and you'd have to have had like a big studio camera to record things like that, if you could even be allowed access. So it's an exciting time. It's hella good, no doubt. I'm looking forward to the possibilities that we'll bring to this channel. Also with the, the news of the 6,500 videos I've already uploaded and the fact that I've recently been able to rejoin the Amazon uh, Associates program. I have in the descriptions down below uh, a little spiel that says, you know, if, if you're interested in any of the books, videos, CDs, digital downloads, um, vinyl that these artists have, if you buy through my Amazon link that will take you right there. It benefits the channel, it benefits the artist, and you get the the item that you're looking for. So uh, help the channel out if you can. I've only been back with them for a little bit less than a month, so loading up the things, it's just going to be on the videos of the most recent artists that I've been seeing. And even at that, I'm still trying to play catch up because I have so much footage that I'm uploading from the shows that I've seen in the last two, three weeks, back to like Dweezil Zappa and um, various other shows that I've done. I've got a backload of videos that are prepared and ready that are in my private folder that I'm waiting for time to get because I'm doing seven per day and I've got more than seven per day just to get up there. So um, bear with me. And also I'm thinking of for these big shows where there's 12, 14 songs per artist for a show, picking maybe just the best four or five for YouTube and everything going over to Patreon. Because uh, I want to build that community, start getting feedback from people as to what they like about the channel, what they'd like to see for this channel. Uh, I don't get that much feedback on future ideas for the channel here. I get a lot of feedback on the videos, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, most of you aren't jerks. Most of you have really good things to say about the music because you like music. 
some people are very egotistical and you know they 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 exist by putting down the artist and i just i don't see the purpose of that if you don't like the video don't watch it don't waste your time talking about it because you're not going to alter the fact that it was recorded already so um that's my little rant there um next week i have nothing planned I'm going to spend the week making money to pay off the bills at this time of the month that I need to make to cover my basic needs. Uh, but also, I have possibilities of uh, Michael Landau at the Baked Potato on Saturday. That's probably the best option out of the ones that I have here. Uh, Kayleen People's Birthday Party, which is on Sunday, and that has um, her husband... Bunny Bunnell on bass, uh, Mahish Balasiroa, uh, I always screw that, Balasiroya, Saraya, uh, on keyboards, he's phenomenal. Uh, Joe Calderon and Land Richards, Land Richards I've seen play drums for um, The Cookies with Alan Hines, and he's played with various other people. These guys are all pros. I'm not a big fan of Catalina Club, but I'd like to see them again. It's been a long time since I've seen them. Um, last time I saw Bunny was at the Baked Potato and he was just passing through at an Alan Hines show. So um, again, a possibility, a long shot on all of these. And then Tuesday, Val McCollum back at the Baked Potato. Um, again, it's been a busy couple of weeks, so I need a little bit of the recuperation time and also if I'm going to dig into this uh, video editing I'm thinking that that's going to help me as a stay-at-home job so I don't have to go out driving for work I can stay at home work on the channel and also work on video editing for other people so that will be something I can turn into I figure if I do like maybe 25 to 100 videos of my own with my own editing and it's up there as a sample, I can actually start marketing myself as a video editor on Filmora, at least, and um, maybe increase my, my possibilities of uh, going to more concerts and not having to drive my car to anything but the concerts. So that's the goal, and it's looking hella good. So until then, get thee to a concert, a lot of changes hopefully coming. Stay tuned. Check out my Patreon in a week or two. I, I, I need to get some stuff up there and pay more attention to that. I've got to learn about um, using Discord, which I will give an ability to have a conversation with people who come over to uh, Patreon and start building a community that way. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until then, get you to a concert. Much love. Take care.